Gentlemen, prepare your bodies for Her Majesty's Secret Service. Secretly, we're going to dispense bullets. Ain't going to be a secret for long, that's for damn sure. Look at me, doo doo doo. I wear a yellow jumpsuit because I think I'm Uma Thurman. But unlike her, I get my bitch ass shot to death. Alright, so far so good. Cleared out a room with three motherfuckers with assault rifles, using only our wolf to be big gay. Bitch, you're dead. You're James Bond caliber dead. It's pretty fucking dead, too. All right. I spy a motherfucker in the vicinity of this end of the hallway, and I want him dead. Oh look, I've got super magic eagle eyes because I'm a fucking member of the X-Men. Oh, let's save from assault rifle ammo and be like, boom. Did you throw a grenade? Yes, you did. Ooh, do do. I'm Grenade Johnson, the biggest fucker to ever grace a James Bond video game. Worst part is the fucking particle effects. The N64 can barely fucking crank that shit out. So what I get for actually playing the damn game on the real console instead of an emulator. Spoilers is because there's no way to play this game without this fucked up controller. It's impossible. Alright. My fucker sense is going off the chart. Look at him. Certified 100% grass fed fucker. And now he's dead. And just one more. Look at you. You threw a grenade! Dicks! Sporting goods. Never had so many assholes in it. Alright. Well, we cleared that room. Oh, look, and he dropped a hand grenade. What a saint. Saints preserve us. He be dropping hand grenade left and right, says I. That's my attempt to piss off Irish people watching this video. If you're watching this in Irish, leave it in the comments. Just tell me how bad you're going to beat my ass. Where you at, boys? I know you want to shoot me. Whoop. Come on, where are you at? You fuckers. I have to walk all the way out there so you can be like, Oh, hey, James Bond. Oh, the sweet left shoe untied. And he's like, Impossible, I wear penny loafers. They're like, Damn you, you thought of every contingency. They wouldn't be penny loafers, they'd be pants loafers. If you know what the smallest denomination of British coin is, leave it in the comments. Alright. And. Done. What's happening? I hear doors opening. I hear three doors down performing. I'm gonna have to def oh, keep you by my side with my superhuman might. Oh look, somebody's fucking running in the door. I can't. There's people in here and I want them dead. Yeah, go ahead. Do your little I'm shooting animation so you can write your mom home and be like, Oh, I saw that change my mama. I knew I'd make you proud. I knew I'd make you proud because you me mom. What's for pudding? And I don't mean the specific dish pudding because every word, every dessert needs pudding when you live in Britannia. All right, come on, dicks. Did I lower the thing? The fuck, guys? The fucking computer won't work because you're hung on it like a fucking blue crab. I gotta wait for it to thunder. Will you get off the goddamn thing? Okay. I got something for you, dick. Here, hold on to that for me. Well, look at that. Maybe break them monitors. Jaws is gonna be pissed. <sighs> Fuck. He was resilient. He just had a hold of that mobile wall and he was like, only... Only a fool would allow James Bond to open a door of his own accord. I know there's a trick to make these guys open that glass door for you, dramatically shortening the level, but I don't really know how to do it. Plus, the video would be boring. You'd be like, 
I tuned in to watch you play a video game and get angry at it, not cheat and beat the level. No, I'm so angry! I wish I could cheat and beat the level! Like that. Alright, this room is about to have a fucking shuttle go. I am so close to dead right now. <laughs> Did I mention when I was a kid that this level haunted my nightmares because it's fucking impossible? I got a Moonraker laser. I need to destroy this turret. There we go. And let's see if anyone's down at the end of this hallway because I hate them and want them dead. No, they're not. Well, that's nice. No, there's someone in the hallway! Luckily, my fucker sense went off at the last second. Oh, look at you hopping and a bopping. Like you're at some sort of 50s dance. Oh, you're a gun turret too, aren't you? Not for long. Alright. We're fast on track. We're on a track. Okay. There's a room here full of fuckers with guns and sissy turrets and fucking bullshit. And I'm going to walk out there because I don't remember where the gun turrets are because I didn't play this before recording this video because I'm an idiot. And I'm going to die. And you'll know I die because I'll say, Shit, goddamn Christ, almighty, fuck this earth and the crops and fields. I hope I remember all that. Ooh! I had to become a fucking Great Dane for a second and fucking... Oh, 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 oh! Certified fucker of a turret. Oh, okay, this time you're done, boys. Oh, <laughs> It's like I'm John Travolta, and I can see into the future. No, how? Oh, I have body armor on. How did that happen? Is there someone in there? Oh, I bet there is. Why don't you come get me? Boys to men? They're like, how did you know my favorite band? And I'm like, I bet. I never want to hear you say, I don't want it that way. It's not a Boys to Men song. Oh, the shame. Who is shooting? Who? Who's on first shooting at me? Let's pop out for a second. Boom! Okay. So we got fuckers. Whoop. Nope. Whoop. Nope. Whoop. Nope. Whoop. Oh, do 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 do. There's 30 of us in a barn. Do do do. We're so cool. Oh, look. Secret hidden sentry gun. Thought I wouldn't notice. I think I see one over there, too. Well, I'm just a sentry gun destroying engine of sentry gun death, and they're like, that's a very redundant nickname you're giving yourself, dick. Who is... Is there someone over here? How many fucking enemies do there need to be in this room? I don't... Bullets just are being generated by the either. I want them. You don't know how... Oh, oh, I'm a sentry gun! I'm so cool! I hang out at the sentry gun mo shop, guys! And beat up sentry gun nerds! Oh! Fucking hate hipster sentry guns. Alright. Boom! Boom! <laughs> this is gonna be an entertaining video. It's like, Dear Mr. Tenfei, I got motion sick watching your most recent video, and it was quite distressing. Alright. You're done! There we go. I yelled that a little loudly. I hope my roommates don't get offended. Oh, 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 come on! James, I want to kill those guys over there and you're, you're not helping. Okay, there he is. Fuck the balls, shit, dick, the crops and fields. I don't remember what I said, but I'm angry. Here we are, son. Prepare your body for complete and total annihilation. My god. He's so overpowered. It must be that very large sword. <laughs> he has that big sword to compensate for his small penis. <laughs> I'm the most original man on the internet, and I drink Dos Equis. Well, that's not very original. You're just, uh, lampooning that guy from the Dos Equis commercials. No, I have been defeated by bullshit logic. I return to my lair. <laughs> I'm not even commenting. 
Do you? Do I really need to calm now if I'm SC7? Is Ultima the only spell I know? Is Ultima the only spell I need to know? So I, I let the numbers speak for themselves. Ah, uh, it's just they're pitiful. The enemies, gutter trash, plebeians before me. Oh no, half MP. However, will I survive? Like a country brigand. I just realized my moving very slow. Perhaps a little bit big guard, little barrier in barrier haste action. I'm just saying, get that blood pumping. What you don't know, big guard? You should manipulate a beach pug to cast it on you. Oh my god, I've been reduced to actually giving out tips for the games I'm playing. Tragic. I've I've reached the end of my rope. Look at them crits! It's like a bowl of cheese crits. Oh no, don't break my command material. <laughs> Bump. I do whatever you want. I'm gonna cast Ultima for the hell of it. He's like, I'm not a halibut. And I'm like, that's not what I said. Why are we having this conversation? Are we characters in some sort of unfunny comedy situation? Ultima don't fuck around. Viper Breath. If it was Tiger Breath, I'd be like, this motherfucker's Sagat. <laughs> I can't go one goddamn video without referencing Sagat. You're making it too easy, son. I'm, I'm just going to hold the attack button down. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to talk about the book, the Where the Red Fern Grows. So, and Where the Red Fern Grows, this little fucking kid is like, I'm going to save up the fucking pennies I find in the gutter. Or, no, he didn't even have a gutter. He lived out in the woods. Uh, regardless, he was like, I'm going to buy these fucking dogs. And um, so he saved he saved up and bought them. I don't, how did he get the money for those fucking dogs? Huh. I don't remember shit about that book. The dogs die. Spoilers. Get the fuck over it. Are you really worried about two fucking little made-up believe dogs in a book that I had to read in sixth grade? God, it was boring. He was like, them dogs run that raccoon up that tree, and I was like, I was cut that tree down, and then he couldn't, because he had a little hatchet and not an axe. Well, another enemy down. Woo! I'm not even going to cheat. I don't want MP. Don't have no use for it. I have a sword. Does it cost magic to swing this sword? Although, when I swing it, it is magic. It is the magic that is Cloud Strife. I believe I'll use an elixir. Because I'm about to get my limit break. And you know what that means? You are about to get fucked up. Unbelievably. Oh, hit me once. Shame on you. Hit me twice. Fucking Omnislash. Son, you're done! There ain't no coming back from that bullshit. Oh no, down 10 levels. It might take you one additional attack to defeat this enemy. Who's... What are you? Maximum Chimera? Are you a Broly Chimera? Please cast a spell on me, because I need to see this stupid animation. Oh, it didn't do anything! What was the point? Even your AI subroutine has to realize the pointlessness, the futility of its existence. Oh no, I might break my magic materia. Oh, I can't cast Ultima. What a shame. Hey, it's the Proud Clod. It's like a boss from the game. Huh. Anyway, I want to talk about something, so... I'm going to summon Knights of Round, and I'm going to set my controller down. And what's another book I had to read in English? All Quiet on the Western Front. Okay, so here's the plot. There's this motherfucker on the western front, and he's like, I can't hear shit. There's nothing going on. He's German, by the way. So he's like, can't hear in the Deutsch shit. This is nine. All nine on the western front. And then he stands up. He's like in a trench, and he's like, it's fucking quiet. There ain't shit to do on the western front. And so he stands up and gets a fucking bullet put in him and dies. Deader than those two fucking dogs from where Red Fern grows. 
why did I have to read that? Why was that mandatory in my fucking education? What did I learn? That World War One or Two was bad? Really? Really? My fucking eyes are open. I'm like, Keanu fucking Reeves, I'm gonna fly off and fight the computer entity. Oh, I'll take the red pill, Morpheus. I want to have a mirror absorb me and wear trench coats. Is this animation still going on? Oh, Jesus Christ. God damn. You're still alive? How did you live through that? Where's the, I, I lost the controller. Fine. I'll beat you to death with my arms. It's like, blue, blue warning, sword detected. And I'm like, well, the arm, my arms are holding a sword. Like, I never said that they weren't. Tell you what, I'm going to kill him with Omni Slash because... <laughs> Because I realized this section hasn't gone on long enough. Tell you what, while I'm building them, I'm just like, nah, I don't even remember any other books we read. Do I? I think we read Macbeth. God, that was shitty. Fucking hate. I hate literature. <laughs> Imagine that. I thought this guy, from the tone of his voice and general strange southern accent, was a scholar. We're gonna chug a couple of uh, hero drinks here. Get good and buff. Gonna eat our fucking Wheaties. And then we're gonna put you in your place, mister. With your fucking forearms, like your Goro. No yes, I wanted to use a potion. That's what I get for thinking the memory cursor was set to. That's what I get for being dyslexic in that previous sentence. That's my penance. The fucking Hail Mary. I'm gonna throw the football across the whole fucking field. Isn't that what a Hail Mary is? I have to admit, the only football game I ever played was NFL Blitz. Alright. Ugh, son! I'm, I'm Prime, comma, Optimus. That's how I'd be listed in the phone book. God, I love making phone book jokes. Are you going to do anything? Are you going to go anywhere and do anything to find kids having fun? Because if so, you're wild and crazy kids. You can't hit me. I'm untouchable. I'm going to take down Al Capone. Because you can't lay a hand on me, boy. Hey, I can see his engine rib cage. How is this so boring? Oh, <laughs> I thought playing a turn-based Final Fantasy game would make a good YouTube video. I'm so shocked. Do I have to hit myself? I will kill him in no other way than on the slash. I refuse. Go on. Do it. I want you to do it. Hit me, you motherfucker. You ain't got the fucking nuts for it. Did it connect? It didn't. You no balls having son of a bitch. Nope. I don't care if everyone watching this video died like in the ring. I'm still not gonna stop. Is this it? Is this my moment of glory? Nope. Do, do. Do, 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 this motherfucking robot can't fucking hit me because I put on a missed style before the fight and has a high chance of letting you die shit. Okay, X potion, get full health. Um, Cloud's ultimate weapon's damage is based upon his current HP as opposed to his maximum HP. <clears throat> it's like I'm the Final Fantasy Wiki. <gasps> I'm the Slash. Oh. Wait, I act like you haven't seen it. Even if you would never play Fami 7 in your life, I honestly slashed in the enemy earlier. It's still cool. Shut up. I think Squall's line heart limit's better. Do you? Really? Well, whatever. <laughs> Are your bodies totally and utterly prepared for extreme battle? I don't think you have enough Mountain Dew or snowboards because this is so goddamn extreme. Sean White might even appear, but I don't think he will because he looks too much like Carrot Top. 
So, we're just going to run past a few zombies. Might stop, shoot a couple. I killed two with one shell. That's a good sign right there. That's like opening your fortune cookie and getting double fortunes. And one fortune is like, you about to win lottery. And the second fortune's like, hey man, you, you, you loaned me some money. I know I'm good for it. Oh, it's such dramatic ladder climbing. I, I wouldn't much to say about that room. What do you want? There were two zombies. Oh. That's a climb. Alright. Son. Clear the damn hallway. My god, I'm an unstoppable engine of shotgun destruction. God, I love this shotgun. It's. I don't know. Something about it. It, it just fills me with such glee in some sort of judicial manner, but I can't really think of a term to describe it adequately. There's a chance there's shotgun shells in here and I want them. Ah, <gasps> oh, shotgun shells. Now I just had to escape before I get covered in plant jizz. Plant jizz! God, I hate plant jizz. I can understand if you're some sort of giant uh, mutated uh, amalgamous plant, but do you have to shoot fucking plant jizz all over people? Honest, hard-working people like Chris Redfield. He comes in and punches that clock and then punches boulders just like everyone else. And he's got to deal with this bullshit. Okay, there are dogs. I dislike dogs. Luckily, I have a handgun. Let me lend you a handgun bullet. The dogs are like, That's not, but you're shooting us. Ooh, got a crit. Huh. That's a good thing I expect into finesse. Put the fattest dex multiplier on my handgun shots. How many more shots do I have left? Zero. Well, guess what? You've been upgraded to shotgun class. How's that feel, gentlemen? Alright, so far so good. Just a bebop and a scatting through this underground laboratory. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna let him break our stride. Not even a stupid joke. I make over and over about stride gun. Won't let it stop us. <gasps> Look at him, right so dirty around that corner, like a smooth fucking criminal. He's like, could you tell me if Annie is doing all right? I'm like, you don't. You, your rhythm's off. You're not. You're no king of pop, sir. Let's stop in here and grab some herbage. Well, first of all, let's do some inventory micromanagement. Like micro machines. I don't think we need to carry around a damn ink ribbon. Alright. Grab two treaties herbs here. Ain't gonna be bad. Son, we're just a bebop and a scat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We're like a queen song. I could store my rocket launcher. Or I could not store it and dispense rockets. I think there's only one correct choice in that scenario. Alright, zombie juking time. Please don't grab me. He's like, oh, it's the only life I know. I'm like, the only unlife, you know. He's like, oh, a zombie is dead joke, so clever. Zombies are such harsh critics of humor. That was a stern PS1 era polygonal face. Although, spoilers, I'm playing this on a Nintendo GameCube. I'm actually not playing it on an emulator. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, you want a description of extreme battle mode while we're running around? Because you watch these videos to learn about video games and not to listen to me yell in some sort of strange accent? Okay. Um, basically, you pick one of these four hapless motherfuckers and you have to run their ass from the Umbrella Laboratory to the police precinct and find four randomly placed antiviral bombs. So pretty straightforward. The kind of shit you do any given day. On any given Sunday. Alright. So, how's my inventory looking? So, first aid spray. That'll air what cures you. Okay, we're either going to proc zombies down here or New York Knicks motherfuckers. Let's see what we get. And there's a zombie, so it's zombie time. Gonna run past you. Gonna put some bullets in you. Hoping for a crit. Didn't get one. Didn't roll a 20. That's okay. Oh, there we go. A natural 20. You make me feel like a natural 20. If I rolled a 40, then it'd get crunk in here. 
Let's get in Crockett. I hear dogs. I see dogs. I shoot dogs. Motherfuckers. All up my goddamn grill. Look at you, the last known survivor stalks his prey in the night. His prey is bullets. And spoilers, he's the stalky. Sometimes there's shotgun shells here. Sometimes there's not. A man can dream. Alright. Let's continue forth. Let's sally forth. And maybe a little bit of Wizard of Id and some Haggard Horrible. Crows fucking everywhere. Shit. The music got right ominous all of a sudden. I, I feel something in my bones and that feel is a hatred for plants. Go on, shoot your plants just at me. You think you're so cool. Look at that, look at that. I just waltzed around them. Waltz for Venus. It was an endless waltz. And now I've got to throw fucking wing zero into the sun. All right, green herb, score. I love bonus herbs. The music got right, Terminator 2-esque. Hmm. All right, there are dogs in this room. The Lord of Juking, please guide my feet. Juke, oh my goodness gracious. I've never, I'm a jukebox hero. I ran through there with fucking stars in my eyes. <gasps> stars, that's a Chris Redfield joke. I get it. Zombie! Let this be our final battle. He's like, damn you, Chris Redfield, and your ability to fire quickly at zombie goats. Zombies around this corner? Yes, there they are. Shotguns around this corner? Yes, there are. You're dead. Son, I'm still getting into this Terminator music. It's so intense. What are you looking up at, Chris? Something that's gonna get a fucking shotgun shell put in it? Yes, it is. Son, I'm a shotgun proctologist. Look at you jumping around the corner. Oh, you think you're cool, huh? Well, I ain't won't waste another shotgun shell on you. You're getting the handgun treatment. That's what I thought, bitch. It's Chris Redfield's house. They're like, this is a T-shaped hallway in a sewer system? And Chris is like, what the fucking housing market fell out? God damn, cut me some slack. Let's see, this way are herbs, this way are bullets. I need some herbs. A road diverged in the woods, and I took the one with more healing. I, that's a poem? Did Robert Frost write that before he starred in Shaun of the Dead? All right, two tree hills? Ain't gonna be bad, son. So I'm gonna take these herbs and put some fucking blue cheese dressing on them. Son, make me a salad. Herb salad. Herb salad. Ooh, do things I've never seen before. How did I turn that into weird science? Alright. You wait here for me. Because I need more inventory space. Alright, now that we got some heels on wheels. That's heels on wheels? Has anyone ever made that joke before? I win. <laughs> I win the internet. If only I drew a shitty video game webcomic, I'd just make that joke 30 times a day. These platform lift things seem so unsafe. Like, they have no guardrails. Well, they have one guardrail. OSHA ain't gonna look that shit over. They're like, one guardrail. <laughs> I like that OSHA is a stuffy old British gentleman. He's like, oh, do say. What's all this then? One guardrail, dude? Are you mad? Are you daft? And I'm like, well, I, I like Daft Punk. And he's like, oh, yes. Ripping good entertainment techno funk. I dare say. There might be a red herb down here. If you can be combined with a green herb, make it a full heal, you might be a red herb. Yep, there's one right there. I had to pay the terrible price of making a Jeff Foxworthy joke to get it, but I did it. Where did the last name Foxworthy originate? Hmm. Might have to Wikipedia that shit later. It's mixing time. We're gonna combine you and you. We're gonna combine you and you. And there we go. Ooh, should I carry two heels? 
I need space for antiviral bombs, so we'll see. I could save my game. Mm, I'll save that for later. I could just not save my game at all and be a total Resident Evil badass. Be like, did you see that guy <laughs> play Extreme Battle? Didn't save his game? They're like, was the, didn't save his game, I don't understand. You guys seem to be enjoying your little sewer bath, so I'm gonna leave you be. Once again, the sternest mesh over that Chris Redfield polygonal mess that's supposed to be human. Attain the four special. Oh, hey, look, it's the room Hunk starts in, in his little game. If only Chris had that Creole blood, son, so wouldn't nothing be able to stop him. I wish you could play as Hunk in Extreme Battle, although you can use a game chart to turn Leon's character model into Hunk, and it's like the same thing. Dogs or zombies, what do we got? Sounds like we got dogs. Well, come on. God, I hate dogs. Let's uh, reload while we're uh, taking this little sojourn from dog status. No crits, huh? My god, I keep... how can I not shoot a handgun fast enough to kill him? You're getting first class treatment. That's where I run up, man. Personally, but believe me. Damn, look at I'm so hurt. Alright, I'm sorry. Well, it's hurt now. Chris is not very resilient. Considering, maybe that's why he got buffed up for Resident Evil 5. He got tired of taking so much damage from regular enemies. Run forward to avoid plant jizz. Yeah. Son, my plant jizz sense was tingling. I was like, I'm feeling a little plant bukkake about to come on. <gasps> it's shotgun Christmas. My God, look at all these shotgun shells. My body, my body is not prepared. And I'm going to save my game. Deal with it. If you think I shouldn't have saved my game here, leave it in the comments so I can be like, oh really, well, where's your video if you're playing Resident Evil 2 DualShock Editions Extreme Battle Mode as Chris Redfield on level 3 difficulty? Actually, I probably won't type all that. It sounds boring. Um, alright, well we need a heal, because I ain't going out in the world healless. How we doing? The name of the game is Inventory and resource management. The hell? Why is my controller shit in the bed all of a sudden? Okay, there we go. I am using a wave bird. Hello, Mr. Plant, and goodbye. And he's like, I don't believe that hello is quite sincere. Spiders. He's like, that's just like you, Mr. Redfield. I'm trying to have a genuine discussion, and you're being facetious. I think I might need a little bit of shotgun when I come up here. Just a hunch. I feel it in my bones. I may have said that already. I can't remember. I say the same things over and over. I'm like a record player. Get down from there, you fucking nut. You two. Fucking liquors on. All day, every day. Alright. Son, let's get the blood pumping. Just gonna run around, find some antiviral bombs that are randomly placed. Ain't gonna be nothing to it. Might get a... Oh god, get the fuck off me. Goddamn little fucking mutations. Think they're so goddamn cool. Think William motherfucking Birkins might be in this room. Let's see. Black! Get the fuck on. Fucker mutation is some kind of fucking dog monster. Thinks he can jump all over you. Fucking handgun bullet shut him down. I may have shit my drawers a little bit, but that's okay. I did it in aggression. <laughs> Look at you! Like you're going to Madison Square Garden for a next game. Oh, not much to you, is there? Yeah, you ain't used to fuckers with rockets, huh? You're used to picking on poor old Hunk Delacroix with his little pea shooter shotgun. Look at that. Son, my way of the shotgun is strong. I focused my shotgun chi into that. Look at all this ammo! How am I ever gonna fucking tow all of it? In my inventory is the answer. 
if you're a boring person who doesn't believe in metaphor or hyperbola. If you're like, I watch these videos for the literal interpretation of the thing you're saying, and therefore I assume you think I am your son because you say that word repeatedly. Oh, uh, by the way, there was a second Wesley Snipes motherfucker, and I refuse to give a fuck. Yay me. What we got up here? Crows. But they're not fucking everywhere. Crows spaced evenly. There are plants in this room, and I hate them. I knew I hate them so much. I mean, what's in this room? I've never played this game before. Plants! Where's a zombie when you need one to be versus them? I want to run by you, but you're so full of plant jizz. You're so virile. Motherfucker. Oh, look, I got around you anyway. Do, do, do. I win. I'm Chris Redfoot, and I approve this message. I hate plants. Please don't hit me. Please let me run by you. Water plants. Baby, don't hit me. Look at that, son. When in there. Little plant jizz on the shoulder. Some club soda. Take that out. Ain't nothing but a thing. Got an fire bomb. Hang bad. Hang bad the hall. Run past two tree crows. Sometimes you can get uh, zombies in here, so I got pretty lucky with just crow mageddon. Alright. Hope there's not dogs in here. There are dogs in here, and I hate them. Come on, boys. Come on. I can stand here all fucking day. You have no idea how fucking long I'm willing to drag out a fucking YouTube video. Oh, didn't think I saw you. You thought the pre-rendered desk kids you. But the hate in my heart swells when a dog's nearby. That's how I know. I sleep, but they live. I just realized I say that a lot, too. I need, like, the top ten things I say too much, and then I'm going to make every video a game of taboo. All right. I hope there's no giant mutate dog fucker in this hallway. Who formerly was an umbrella scientist. Look at you, you clever son of a bitch. Rocket time. Are you nearby? I oh, Jesus. I don't want to waste any rockets. I don't want to waste all my rockets to be over. Okay, you're done. Hmm. We bit tight on inventory space. Let's, uh... Let's uh, remedy that situation, shall we? Think, think, gotta think. I know where there's an item box, but I don't want to give up my rocket. I could shoot things that I dislike. Um, mm, what a tough day for Chris Redfield. I had a hell of a day. Hey, well, we're just going to advance forward. Like crawled in Star Ocean 2. Really? I wish I could punch myself in the face. A fucking Star Ocean 2 reference. There are dogs in this room, and I hate them, and I want them to die! Oh, I can jump through a hailstorm of bullets because I'm Keanu Reeves in dog form! Goddamn dogs everywhere. I'm dog tired of all these fucking dogs. Alright. Let's see, we're gonna put the Ambar Bomb in here. We're gonna take a dose of green herb. Store that rocket launcher, don't need it right this second. I'm gonna savor that rocket for later. Oh look, I'm in double caution apparently. Keep on on in green herbs. I'll take no one with me. Just to grow one. There we go, feeling fine. Chris fucking Redfield looking good. Why Mr. Redfield, I like the ergonomics nature of your haircut and he's like, I don't I mean, I'm just a STARS operative with years of combat experience and biohazard containment, but I don't believe that's the correct word to describe a haircut. I'm like, Chris, goddamn, take a fuck compliment. That green vest makes you look, uh, Fabergé. And he's like, okay, I, I know that's not an adjective, that's those fucking fancy eggs. Fucking Chris, fucking Webster to 2.0, goddamn. Can't slip enough past them. See if I get a crit headshot. I don't. Because I have bad karma. Karma San Diego. I'm gonna shoot you in the back. He's like, would you shoot a zombie in the back? I'm like, yeah. He's like, sir, a rapscallion in sheep's clothing. Look at that fucking fat crit. Put all my points in the dexterity. You crowd are resilient, I'll give you that. Like, well, we are the walking dead. I'm like, that's trademark, motherfucker. Look at that. I was shooting his friend and his head exploded. 
He probably didn't realize The Walking Dead was copyrighted. Actually, I don't think they use the word zombie in The Walking Dead, do they? Probably because there aren't any fucking zombies in the show. Because it's people sitting in the woods arguing about their fucking teen high school bullshit. Spoilers, uh, I don't much care for The Walking Dead. You might not have gathered that from my hate speech. Okay. There's a bomb in here, I think. But there, I think there are plants in here, too. And I hate plants. Might have to shotgun them up just a little bit. Just rough them up with a shotgun. Just to let them know I mean business. Nothing too serious. Just a couple of blasts right, right in the ear. You shoot someone in the ear. Oh, look, plant juice. My mom is so proud. You have to die. If I'm poisoned. Ooh, plants. I'm like, if I was the plant chief, I'd be like, plants, my office. I got the plant mayor riding my ass, and you got to pull this shit. You poisoned 30 fucking cars downtown. They're like, cars can't be poisoned. I'm like, look at the fucking plants that suddenly can speak human language and know goddamn much about cars. Let's see if there's zombies in here or liquors. Hey, zombie. <gasps> shotgun shells. Jingle bell, shotgun shells. I assume the rest of this song is racist. I heard a lot of versions of that when I was a kid. There was Jingle Bell, Batman Smells, and there were some other versions. God damn, I didn't realize the school I went to was so goddamn racist. Alright, we're looking good. Looking good, feeling good. Uh, could use some blue herbs. I know where there are blue herbs. In the main entranceway. Because it's like, it's good fucking thing. My fucking Katrina Cave is severed. And I'm like, Chris, no, it's not. You might know a lot about fucking diction and the proper use of adjectives, but you don't know fucking anatomy. He's like, what's great anatomy? It's fucking brilliant program. George fucking... Is George Clooney... I've never watched Grey's Anatomy. Is that the show with George Clooney? Is he like, my God. They're like, what's wrong, Dr. George Clooney? And he's like, I just found out I have a terrible case of playing a shitty version of Batman. And they're like, is it curable? And he's like, I'm afraid not. You'll have to amputate my fucking skull. Oh, look. It was a fucking placebo green herb. Chris, you fucking weak. He's like, maybe I have a high maximum HP, so when you use a single green herb, you didn't hear me all that much. Dick. Chris gets so sensitive. Alright, let's go into a dog room. And if these dogs kill me, ooh, the tantrum I'll throw. I'll have to update an addendum video. It'll just be me screaming at a camera. Not even facing me, just screaming at it. And I'll record myself with a separate camera. Please walk over here so I can shoot you properly. Auto aim, auto aim, da da da. Oh, I can't shoot a shotgun that fast, apparently. Let me guess, I'm in danger. Oh, I'm Chris Redfield and the dog hits me and it hurts so bad. Boo hoo hoo. The dog hurt my feelings. <gasps> no antiviral bomb, but there's antiviral shotgun chill. Chris is like, I think they're regular. Chris, why are you so argumentative? I'm trying to guide you through a 3D world of pre-rendered backgrounds into a world of survival horror. Good luck. Finding foes is not the only way to survive. If you had poisoned me, I would have risen up like an angry god from the sea. A god whose only power is to flail impotently and yell at a screen. <laughs> Fucking liquors, goddamn. That's what's wrong with this country. It's full of fuck. Look at you doing your fucking magic death leap. Like your Penn and Teller. <laughs> I hope Penn and Teller have done a magic death leap. They did a magic bullet where... Who caught it in his mouth? One of them. Probably Penn, because Teller does all the crazy shit. Okay, so Penn had this big fucking gun, and he was like, this gun is fucking huge, and I've got a ponytail, and I look cool. Because he does. He looks good in that suit. And... um. He's like, to make sure this isn't rigged, I want someone in the audience to pick a bullet out of this box of obviously not rigged bullets. And this guy in the audience was like, I'll pick a bullet. I was born to do it. And so he picked a bullet. <laughs> How have I made this story so boring? <laughs> uh, anyway, so he picked a bullet. And they were, he wrote his initials on it or something to identify it. And then he and Taylor went up on stage and they... Stood on opposite sides of a pane of glass, so you know that the bullet traveled through actual space and not hammer space. And then uh, 
Taylor opened his mouth and Penn shot the fuck out of that bullet and it flew and he caught it in his mouth and that's how it worked and it was real magic. Do you believe in magic? Like I hope you do. Please don't let a dog hit me. Okay. No! A dog! Even after I asked so politely, not though. Did you live through a shotgun blast? You're something, I'll give you that. That's something being a son of a bitch. And he's like, well, I'm not offended, because bitch refers to a female dog, and my mother surely was one. And I'm like, damn, you dogs and your ability to be uninsulted. What we got here, lads? Dogs. How original. Are they all dead? Oh, boy. I am, it's fucking shotgun Christmas in here, all these shotgun shells. Shotgun Hanukkah. That's when Chris only had eight shotgun shells. No, wait, I'm just reverse Hanukkah. He had one shotgun shell and it was enough to kill eight weeks burying. We celebrate it every year with potato pancakes. <gasps> I just realized there's only one bomb left to get, which means the music gets all fucking intense. Oh yeah. And you feel it in your bones. I've used the word bones a lot. I'm gonna say it's in reference to the Star Trek character, but I no, nah, I wasn't really thinking of him. All right, Mr. Licker, I'm gonna inch forward, turn, and then shoot you twice. Your fucking liquor friends are gonna show up. Cause, oh look, look at you! You missed. You got liquor cataracts. He's like, this one's bold, and I'm gonna drive down the road with the windows down. And I'm like. I said cataracts. And he's like, oh. And he gets sad. Liquor sad. Alrighty then. Uh, I'm hooked on a feeling. Now that my musical interlude's over, let's. There's a chance a bomb can be upstairs. Upstairs bomb. Do, 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 do. I didn't feel like making up any more lyrics to that song. Plants. Plants vs. Bullets, the new expansion for Pop Cap Games. More like Papa Cap Games. Am I right, guys? OMFG. You are resilient. And there's one behind me, isn't there? I'll shoot the rest of these hangout bullets because I don't need them. Look at them flying over the edge. What if, like, Barry came in? He was like, I'm here to check my mail, guys. And, like, one just fell and hit him in the eye, and he's like, God damn it. I told you not to shoot this shit off the, the fucking high beams. That on my high beams? Like in a car? Headlights? He's like, I meant the ledge up there, goddammit, Chris. You and your fucking literary proficiency and powerful diction. <laughs> Chris and Barry always get in arguments over semantics and word usage. and They play a word with friends, but the second half of that is tenuous. Uh, no bomb. Alright, we'll check the chief's office. And while we're there, we'll go through his desk. Maybe he left a Snickers bar? Or a Milky Way? Hope he didn't leave no Three Musketeers. That shit ain't tight. I need caramel or nuts. I need nuts packed into everything I eat. I need my mouth full of nuts. The joke is that it sounds like nuts are slang for scrotum. Ignore that whisper if you got the joke, because then it won't be funny because I'm explaining the joke. Dot JPEG. All right, there may be some Wesley Snipes motherfuckers out here, but I may have a shitload of shotgun shells with which to deal with them. So we'll see how this works out. Oh, look at you, you son of a bitch! That's my intense running along the upper banister music. Chicka chicka wah wah. Are you dead yet? You must be, because my auto aim only points at you, boy. Look at him, stopping him cold. He's like, your long range shotgun shields are great, Chris Redfield. And I'm like, well, you know, I played Counter Strike. You shoot a shotgun for three miles in that game, he had a motherfucker. He's like, I just used the AWP, and I'm like, oh, I'm glad you're dead. Only the dead can know peace from this evil. This Resident Evil. I probably don't need 25 fucking healing items, but I'm not going to take any chances. Because I only need to find one bomb. You can't carry any more items. Do do do. I'm the inventory management fairy. And I don't approve this mess. 
And I'm gonna eat one just to fucking get my blood going. Get my blood pumping. Pump it up. Bum, bum, bum. Gonna store you. Gonna take the last rocket to rule them all. And in the darkness kill them. Rocket fuckers. It's my new series. Rocket fuckers. It's just... Yeah. Is there a plant? Yes, there is. Ooh, this is gonna be good to me. Famacondios. What does that mean, Famacondios? If you're fluent in Espanol, tell me what Famacondios means. Leave it in the comment. Look at that plant juke. Shotgun time. Shotgun time. Come on, grab your friends. Huh, there ain't much left. I hope the bomb's in here. I mean, it's not as if, like, preemptive movement and we'll go for the bombs. That's stupid. This isn't video for the internet. It demands integrity. Extra shotgun shells. It's like they want me to get to the end. They're like, we're tired of this shit. We want this video to end. I have no idea how long this episode of 1AM Gaming is going to be. I don't remember how long I played GoldenEye or Final Fantasy VII. Well, I know I played Final Fantasy VII too fucking long because I started describing goddamn sixth grade literature, so... That's a sign. Don't even need Ace of Base to tell me that sign. Fine, Chris. We'll just eat all the herbs, because you have to have them. Come on. Come on around the corner, you son of a bitch. I hear you clicking. Thinks he's somebody. Thinks he can mutate with fucking exposure to G-Virus and then just jump on whoever he wants. I can't believe I brought my empty handgun with me. It's good luck charm. One of the thousand. Spoilers, Barry has the other 999. And he's like, Chris, can I buy your last gun? And Chris is like, no, Barry. He's like, but I can eat it. I'm like Kaiba, I want them all. You motherfucker. Mm. Guess what? You damned all your friends. You and your friends are dead. That's what I thought. And there we go. Let's reload a gun and full heal because just in case I can't make it out of this fucking room. And there we go. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. 